there, I'm Sandy Alnock. Welcome to my Bible journaling channel, where today I'm going to do a little window looking out at snow as a reminder to us and something something to think about when it snows. Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are as red as crimson, they will be like wool. And I was really struck with this particular translation. I'm used to it saying, come let us reason together. And reason together to me means to have a debate, to make logical thoughts, to come up with new ideas. And this translation is just so much more what I need to hear right now about this. It's let us settle the matter, period. This is how it is. I will take your sins away. I will make them white as snow, period. It's not a debate. It's, this is the truth. And there was something in my heart that really needed to hear that today. So there you go. That's why I'm journaling it. <laughs> well, partially that's why I'm journaling it. I have been thinking about snow. And I wanted to do like a snowy window. So almost like there's frost on the window and stuff. When you uh, spritz the water on this, and don't spritz it so it's completely covered, but just partially covered, then the pigment travels in all the rivulets and all the drops and those sort of things. And it bursts out into almost those little frozen looking kind of little bursts. And so I'm also letting it use some of those vertical rivulets. Water Watercoloring on Bible paper just makes the paper buckle in like little tiny rivulets. And on this, it's going to work perfectly because all of the the snow and the color and everything on a window is going to drain down in in some places in strips and some places it'll be frozen with little starbursts all different kinds of patterns and there's a couple reasons why I wanted to do this one is that for a lot of you it's snowing like crazy right now and maybe this will serve as a reminder not to reason with God but to know the truth that your sins are forgiven. You are made white as snow in Christ. And so maybe that'll make the snow easier to tolerate. For me, I don't have any snow right now, and I'm kind of sad about that. But I am teaching a class on how to paint snow. And I have been going up to the mountains periodically to go paint snow outside and painting from photos and stuff. So I do have snow on the brain. For the window, I drew the lines on there using a ruler. And then I turned my Bible upside down just so I could sort of aim my hand down and make a nice straight line and try to do it as evenly as possible for the outside of the window or at least that vertical portion. And I don't know, what, what are the parts called in between the panes? The panes are the glass. And then there's the frame, I guess, those portions of the frame. And so I'm painting a little bit of a shadow here and there, and then I'm going to add a little bit more texture and darkness to the bottom section where the window sill is. And you could make several panes of, of glass. You could do another vertical in this. If you have a whole page empty, you could make a whole grid of window and then just have all this color behind it. And the fun thing about this is that you can paint all the snow first and then just do the window frame over top of it. And you don't have to paint around anything and worry about masking anything out or whatever. So the window frame is about done here. And then it's just a matter of adding the words. And I, in one of the windows, I put, come let us settle the matter. And I wanted it really big. I wanted it even bigger than the verse because, or the rest of the verse that I know, because this is the important part to me. Come let us settle the dang matter. Sandy, stop arguing with me. Stop trying to reason with me. Stop trying for the logic and just settle the matter. I'm right, says God. <laughs> period. I don't know if I'm the only one that argues with them. Maybe I am. But that's this week's page. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button, share it with your friends if you have folks who are Bible journalers. And I will see you again very soon.